We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Boston Red Sox and the Chicago Cubs. Into the box now, Shin Su Chu. And we are set for baseball here this evening. First pitch coming, here it is. And a sinker misses here. No, a called strike. I take that back. Seven o'clock. Good hard sinker that time, and he's in control. 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. This one smoked the other way. High and deep to left. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. So one away here with the bases empty. And up next, it'll be the outfielder, Tommy Pham. Sinker to open the A-B in there for strike one. Game time temperature here in even 60 degrees. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Great job by the pitcher right there, changing eye levels. We all know he's a sinker ball pitcher, but if he could throw some four seamers up in the zone like that, it could work for him. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Regardless of the result right here, to be down 0-2 and work it back to an even count, got to feel like it's a win for the offense. One out, nobody on. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. You can bet these hitters are taking note of what the guy on the hill is working with. A long at-bat like this in the first inning can reveal a lot. So he got him swinging. Tommy Pham goes down for out number two in the top half. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And that'll hit off the ivy out there. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. That'll bring up the veteran Miguel Cabrera as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Have to find a way to get that guy home from second now. Never know how important these early runs can be. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Standing in, Javier Baez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. He set in the pitch. Top started to go down after it, and he couldn't hold back. It's strike one. One ball and one strike to the Cubs' leadoff batter. Looked like he was a little over aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. A ball and two strikes now. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Ready now, Anthony Rizzo. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Anthony. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Bases are empty, one man out. Fouled away. Pulled toward right center field. Verdugo waits on it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now to the plate, Chris Bryant. Looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Loud contact off the bat of Bryant and sent deep to left. Benintendi has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the shot. New inning set to get underway, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Alex Verdugo. Second inning starts with a fastball that misses. It's 1-0. Ground ball left side. Bryant's got it. The tag and he is out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up a former gold glover, the first baseman, Mitch Moreland. And right into the shift. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. No score here as we play inning number two. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0-2. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Wow, that pitch wasn't even close, and he almost chased it. 
If I'm the pitcher, I'm going to expand the zone even more on the next one. And he fouls this one off. Another 1-2 delivery. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Great job to keep your hands back and not fully commit. The body was out in front on a great changeup right there, but he was able and strong enough to keep his hands back. The 3-2 pitch. And that's down into left center for a base hit. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. Fouled off. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's 1 and 2. From the belt, the pitch. Moreland, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Ball two. Hard sinker misses two and two. Tough two and to two. take a pitch like that right there, especially in a one-two count. You almost get in that auto swing. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Only play to the pitcher covering, and the runner moves into second on the play. Stepping up to the plate, Christian Vasquez. Runner in scoring position with Sagan. This one's down to third. Bryant is up with it. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is ready to go for the last half of the inning. And standing in the outfielder, Kyle Schwarber. And he lays off there, 1-0. Oh. Rounded up the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So striding forward now, Hunter Pence, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one from the stretch. The 1-0. One and one the count. Bottom of the second here with no score. Curveball fooled him there as he's way out in front. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Fam is there. Two down. And as the second baseman, Jason Kipnis, try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Strasburg is what you may call a stingy starting pitcher. He rarely gets hit around, and on top of that, he usually excels at limiting free passes. A great combination to have. Matty V, I think one of the keys to being a good starting pitcher, one, limiting the number of pitches that you throw into a game, and two, getting out as quickly as you can. And there aren't too many guys that do it better than this guy. Not a lot of pitches. One of the things I like, he's in attack mode from the first pitch of every at bat. One and oh, the count. That's by him for strike one. Heading out towards shallow right. Here comes the right fielder. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Top of the third set to get underway, and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Dustin Pedroia. Now a fastball to start the third. That misses. It's ball one. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2-0 now. The pitch. Got himself a 2-0 fastball there, but he couldn't connect 2-1. and one. Ran one in there as this is hit on the ground towards second. Kipnis has it. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Ready for another wow, chance? Shin Su Chu. He flied out leading off the ball game. A ball and no strikes. In today's game, everybody's trying to work off the mound north-south, trying to elevate that heater. He wanted that pitch right there, but I can tell you as an offensive player, I'd rather give you six inches off east-west than to have you call that high fastball. Lined in the right, a base hit. Now back, 
Right standing in now, Tommy Pham. Strike one to start the at bat. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. A bullet to first base. Tries to dance back to the bag to double off the runner, but not in time. Now that is. So a runner at first with two away. And with it brings the left-handed swinging Andrew Benintendi. And this one's in the dirt. And a heads-up play to get back to first as he wisely hadn't gotten too far from the bag. Pitch popped up. Baez is there for it. And the inning is over. And that'll bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. First offering on its way. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. Now here's the ball hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Looking up is the right fielder into the bleachers and gone. Here's Jason Hayward now. And Strasburg will get ahead of him here with strike one. No outs, nobody on. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. And it's fouled away. The one and two pitch. The bouncer to the left side. And Hayward has a base hit. So the nine hole hitter comes through with the base hit. And that brings up the top of the order now with nobody out. Here's Javier Baez. He swings and grounds it to short. Gonzalez is there. Pedroia back over to Moreland, and they get two out of it. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. Strasburg comes set. Here's the first pitch. Right side. Pedroia has it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. All set for the start of the inning and set to go as the third baseman, Miguel Cabrera. Miguel Cabrera. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Stepping into the box, Alex Verdugo. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Let's see if he tries to climb the ladder right here, change his eye level, or bounce something in the dirt. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1-2. That's lifted the other way out to left. Left fielder giving chase. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Now it. Stepping into the box, Mitch Moreland, one for one after a single this first time up. A bit high there, a ball and no strikes. Hit back toward the mound. Baez fields it cleanly, throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant. First delivery to him on the way. The 0-1 pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0-2. 0-2 count. You could do just about anything you want right now. Up, down, in, out, hard, soft. Good time to be a pitcher. Playable for Verdugo, and there's one gone. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Kyle Schwarber. Both for one for him here in this one. Tapper up the line. One run, two hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. On to Moreland, and that's in time for the second out. Here's the right fielder, Hunter Pence. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Down the third baseline. But a foul ball here, 0-1. Strasburg comes set. Here it comes. Oh, and a good tight slider there, and he's in command, nothing in two. 
Hey, after that terrible swing, you find yourself down 0-2. Step out, deep breath, adjust the batting gloves, flip a coin, and go all in on something. So now to the plate, Jason Kipnis, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Behind 0-2 now. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. And there goes Pence. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he's in safely to third. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. Next to hit will be Wilson Contreras. He grounds it sharply to third. Gloved by Cabrera. Throw to first in time. And the big inning is... Now in the box, Marwin Gonzalez. He'll start things out against Kyle Hendricks as we get the inning underway. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. And a half swing here, but this is in there for a called strike two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. And he'll try and tempt him with one of the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. The one-two. Ball action time. Almost got him to go around, but instead it's ball three. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. So it's a leadoff base hit to start the Red Sox half of the inning. Now At the plate now, Christian Vasquez. And he'll quickly send a line drive to center field. Half is there, and he has it for the first out. Digging in, Dustin Pedroia. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And that's high for a ball, 1-0. On the ground to the left side. Bryant's got it. Kipnis on to Rizzo, and it's a double play. Side retire. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll bring up the former first rounder in Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Ben Intendi in pursuit. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. So the base is empty here with one away. And that will bring up the multi-gold glover Jason Hayward. Swing and a miss and he's behind 0-1. Hits are now even at four apiece. And he falls behind 0-2. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Chasing after it is Verdugo, and he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. And that brings up Javi Baez. He struck out and bounced into a double play in his first two at-bats. And that misses ball one. I really like how he's getting ahead early in the count. He's pitching aggressively, and what that does, it holds the pitch count down. Fouled away. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And top half of the sixth about to get started. And striding forward the designated hitter, Shinsu Chu. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. And the sinker is over here, and that evens things at one. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Smoke the other way, high and deep to left. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. 
Ready once again. Tommy Pham. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. And Hayward will put this one away for route number two. Two men are gone now in the Boston half of the sixth. And up next, the exciting left-handed bat of Andrew Benintendi. Popped up. Kipnis trying to get there. And no chance on the throw here as he reaches first easily. Now batter. At the plate, Miguel Cabrera. A ball and no strikes. Here it is. Good curveball there. Gets the swing and miss. Liner towards second. And Cabrera's going to have himself a base hit. But now a throw from the outfield will get him. How slow. Bottom of the sixth inning now. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. The first baseman. And that misses inside 1-0. Good fastball there. Didn't get the swing, but the guy at the plate isn't someone who chases many bad pitches. But this is yanked down out there at shortstop for the first down. Here's Chris Bryant now. now. Third baseman. This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards outside Wrigley while he was still in AAA. And what does he do when he shows up? Rookie of the year, MVP. I mean, get in line. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. And he will make the play out there. And there are two away now. Two away now for the Cubs in the sixth. And next, it will be the left-handed power threat, Kyle Schwarber. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is... Seventh inning ready to roll. And that brings up the outfielder, Alex Verdugo. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. One man is out in the Red Sox seventh. And that'll bring up a former gold glover, the first baseman, Mitch Moreland. Sends that one out of play for strike one. One out, nobody on. That's lifted the other way out to left. Schwarber is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for route number two. Now back. Digging in and looking for more. Marwin Gonzalez, a hit in two tries so far. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Last half of the seventh here, and that brings in the outfielder Hunter Pence. And that's by him, it's 0 and 1. And no offer that time from Pence as it evens the count at 1 and 1. And the pitch. And he fouls this one off. Down the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Digging in, Jason Kipnis. Tripled homer run last time through, so we'll see what he's got in store here. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. And no one will track it down. Two runs, four hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Another one sent foul. Liner toward right center. And Kipnis is going to reach on a base hit. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. And he'll swing and send a chopper to third. On to Moreland, and that's in time for the second out. 
So stepping in, Ian Happ. He's one for two in this one. He's set. Here it comes. Trying to keep the deficit right where it is, the pitch. And boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0-2 now. Here's a shot to right field, and that's going to be in for a base hit. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. So that'll bring up Jason Hayward. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. Everything this guy throws is hard. That changeup he throws is in the high 80s to go along with that good heater. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes. Ready to begin the eighth, and now it'll be the catcher, Christian Vasquez. The catcher, Christian Vasquez. Here's the first pitch to him. 1-0. Now a flare out toward right center. Hayward coming on, but he won't get to it, and this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. He hit the corner and tries for third. And he'll get there as he legs out the leadoff triple. The batter number 50, second baseman, Justin here's the second baseman now Dustin Pedroia takes this the other way to right in there base hit and that ought to get the run in from third the batter the designated hitter Shinsu Chu at the plate now as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one He's working on a one for three thus far. In the dirt here. Now he'll bluff the throw to first and fire back to second. And the runner will stay put, but the count moves to 2-0. and oh. The runner at first with no outs here. Hit in the air out to straightaway left field. Schwarber has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. So a runner at first now with one away. And up next, it'll be the outfielder, Tommy Pham. Swing and a miss, 0-1. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. On the move is Hayward. He's not going to have a play on it. And this might bring home the runner from first. And he is in there. Up next for the Red Sox. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in as it's on the ground toward the hole. Throw not in time, and he beats it out for his third hit tonight. In now, Miguel Cabrera. And we thought we might be seeing the end of the road for the starter, but clearly he's still in there for at least one more hitter. Well, Matt, we'll see how this works out, but I think they figured with the righty coming up, it was worth sticking with him to keep the matchup advantage in their favor here. To second now, but he's safe as two score on the play, and we are all tied up. Alex Verdugo. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Again, another foul ball. Three runs already home here. And looked like the sinker here, but a good job of knocking this thing down. But he gets back in time, safe at second base. The one-two. Took something off there as this pitch is in the dirt, but handled quickly behind the plate. High in the air down the right field line. But this will land untouched. Still only one out in the inning. He pulls this one into right. Hayward is there. Let's see if they test it. And they will not risk it. So with two away now, that go-ahead run is forced to hold tight at third base. 
Yeah. Here's the first baseman now, yeah. Mitch Moreland. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Has a look, now the pitch. Second and third, two away. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Lifted in the air out to left. Schwarber is there now to put this one away for the third. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Javier Baez will start things out against Steven Strasburg as we get the inning underway. Keith Hembry is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Now pitching to a Boston. Number 37. First delivery to him on the way. Hey! Oh, one's the count. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Hembry was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. And Cabrera throws across the diamond for out number one. So one gone here in the Chicago eighth, and into bed next, the left-handed hitting first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. There's a shin-high slider laid off for a ball. Good spot to be in right now as a hitter. Count your favor, 1-0. Oh. Good time to get a fastball and turn it loose. One and two now. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. And that is down as that could be two bases. Rizzo will head for second. And he is in the second base with one away as the go-ahead run. Into the box, Chris Bryant. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. On a rope to the second baseman. And it got there so quickly, the runner didn't get very far from the bag. They settle with just the one out. Now time is called as both guys in the bullpen are ready to go. So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. Waves at a curveball there. No balls in a strike. Rounded down the third baseline. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning. Digging in once again, Marwin Gonzalez. He'll be charged with trying to get on board, leading off the ninth. No balls in a strike to count. A one count. Here's the pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first, he's digging for second. And your go-ahead run is in at second base here with a leadoff double. Into the box now, Christian Vasquez. As he runs up to bunt, but can't make contact. That's strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. And it's quickly 0-2. You have one job in this situation, especially down 0-2. You have to find a way to advance. This ball's down, and that could bring in a run. And the go-ahead run will move up to third and wisely hold there with nobody out. Second baseman, Justin Pedroia. Standing in now, Dustin Pedroia. First pitch here is hit off to the right side and fouled at strike one. He has the possible go-ahead run only 90 feet away at third base. 
but he's safe at first as he gets back in time. The one and one pitch. Mine to the right side. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. And that'll bring in the go-ahead run from third. It's now a 4-3 to three game. Now batter. So, so now to the plate, Shinsu Chu. And this one gets away. So now two men in scoring position. Runners at second and third here. Nobody out. Hit out towards second. Kipnis is there. Thought about coming home, but he'll go to first instead. And that's out number one. Into the box, Tommy Pham, who came across to score after doubling in his last at-bat. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Swing and a line drive. And he will deliver one of the biggest at-bats of the night. It's a base hit. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. Yes, he'll swing and hit this one hard, but foul off to the left and out of play. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Line towards center field, and that'll get down for a base hit. Pham is on his way home. But no, he'll put on the brakes and head back to third. The third baseman. Miguel Cabrera. Stepping in now, Miguel Cabrera. As he'll swing and pop this one up near second base. Kipnis is there. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Riding in for Boston, Alex Verdugo struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. No balls in one strike. And a fastball in the dirt, but it's blocked nicely as he keeps it in front of him. The 0-2. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's 1-2. Not sure if that was a purpose pitch or not, but I liked it. As a pitcher, sometimes you've got to be willing to back the guy off the plate by running something hard inside. You can't just let guys be comfortable standing in the batter's box against you. And now the count is full for the Boston center fielder. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Hayward has a read on it, and that's the third out. Set for the bottom of the ninth. And that'll bring in the right fielder, Hunter Pence. Now time is called as both guys in the bullpen are ready to go. Brandon Workman comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Now picking for a Boston. First offering on its way. Brandon Workman. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. Workman. A native Texan. His pitch repertoire includes a curveball, a four-seam fastball, and a cutter. Count even now at one and one. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Now batting. Digging in, Jason Kipnis, two for two with a triple on his batting line to this point. Hit back up the middle, and that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. The catcher, number 40. At the plate now, Wilson Contreras hit down the third baseline. Cabrera's got it. Throw on to first gets him, and that means the Cubs are down to their final out now. Digging in now, Ian Happ he comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Low for ball one. You know, in this situation, you almost have to pitch like there's no one on base. That run really doesn't mean anything with the lead they've got. The hitter is the guy that can turn this game on its head. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap.
as he arrives at second without a play as a run also comes in to score making it a two run ball game at the plate Jason Hayward pops straight up Workman shading to his right makes the catch and that's the ball game a six to four finish in tonight's affair Boston came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Boston Red Sox. Six runs on 14 hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. For the Cubs, four runs on nine hits. No errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 19 minutes. Tonight's state attendance at Wrigley Field. 41,649. As always, we thank you for your support of Chicago Cubs baseball and remind you to please drive home safely. We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the Atlanta Braves and the Boston Red Sox. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. One ball, no strikes to count. A ball and a strike now to the Atlanta leadoff man. And they'll run this one in on him and he can't connect so he finds himself down one and two now really feeling like fall here in New England 60 degrees our game time temperature and a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game now the pitch 
Mancini. Now a check swing on the pitch inside, but he definitely broke the plane, and that's the first strike. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. So next up will be Freddie Freeman. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Guess where he's going with this next pitch. Probably a little further outside, see if the fish are still biting. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. And he struck him out. Shinsu Chu at the plate now. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Line to the right side. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. In now, Tommy Pham. As he tries to go out and get the slider, but it's not there. It's strike one. Pham with an even one and one count now. Chu on at first. Nobody out. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that finds its way through for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And this will be a foul ball as the first baseman makes a Herculean effort to make the stop. Easy there, Cha-Cha. Line towards center field. And that's in there. Base hit. And he is out, retreating to second as they slap the tag on him. And now he throws on the brakes, but he can't get back to first, and he's nailed for the second out. Big mistake there. And that'll bring up the veteran Miguel Cabrera. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Ready with the 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. Not the ideal location for a changeup up of the zone, but he got away with it. Trying to get Cabrera to chase there, but it's one and two. Two outs here with a runner at third. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first, and no swing. It's ball two. A swing and a ground ball to third. There is Seeger. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. the Atlanta number four hitter Ender Inciarte. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up. Gonzalez into shallow left. He's there and records the first down. At the plate Marcelo Zuna. First delivery to him on the way. And that change up makes him jump a swing and a miss. Hey newsflash think he was guessing boys? Because that was an ugly swing right there. Unable to find the zone with the slider. That one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0-2 and 1-1. And and but now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at-bat. On to Moreland, and that's in time for the second out. That is good. Next that's batter good. to the plate, Brian Goodwin. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. First pitch of the at-bat. Nope. No score here as we play inning number two. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. Classic case of the front shoulder flying open on that off speed. Needs to stay compact and stay in the big part of the field. Pops this one up. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end. Last half of the second set to go, and that brings Leading up the outfielder, Alex Verdugo. 
Oh. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Soroka has a reputation as a strike thrower, although that doesn't often result in a ton of strikeouts. A typical start may find him with a low walk total and the ball in play a lot. Matty, he's what they call today one of those pitch-to-contact kind of guys. He has good stuff, not great stuff. He relies a lot on his defense and one of the keys. He's not afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. With that said, he needs some defense behind him because he's not going to get a whole lot of swings and misses. And boy, this at-bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0-2 now. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Still no balls and two strikes. Bottom of the second here with no score. Hit hard up the middle, and that is through into center field for a one-out single. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. As he lines it out to center. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And from the on-deck circle into the batter's box comes Christian Vasquez. Camargo is there, and the side is... Digging in the switch hitter, Johan Camargo. 7 8 9, bottom of the order set to go here in the third. Good slider there, gets a swing and miss. I know we want to focus on the offense and how bad they've been so far, but can we give some love to the pitcher? He has had these guys in the rocking chair all day. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? And Pedroia looks this one in for out number one. Stepping up now, Tommy LaStella. He'll get to take his first cuts here. LaStella. Oh, and an ugly swing there. It's 0-1. Hey, this offense is going to have to change their mindset. If they're going to get swing and misses on that slider, you know he's going to go to that well. They are going to have to be willing to take the ball the other way and stay back on that heater, or they are not going to recognize that pitch. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The 0-2 once more. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. So bases are empty here with two gone, and next to bat will be the catcher, Tyler Flowers. Looked like that one tied him up a bit. A swing and a miss. Great job by the pitcher right there to pull the string. He knew he had an aggressive hitter at the plate. Here's a fly ball well hit. And it bangs off the monster. The the Into the game. box now. Kyle oh, Seeger. Yeah. As he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. In there, one and one. From the belt, the pitch. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive it a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Riding in, Dustin Pedroia as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. The second baseman, Dustin Pedroia. First delivery to him on the way. Wind up and the 0 1. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field.
Now back into the box. Shin Su Chu. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Second at bat here. He reached via a single to lead off the home first. Two balls and no strikes now to the Red Sox left fielder. Nobody out, runner on first. Chu with a two ball, one strike count here. Hit hard to the right, but foul. Here now the 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Great job to keep your hands back and not fully commit. The body was out in front on a great changeup right there, but he was able and strong enough to keep his hands back. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. He's running. Ground ball right side. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. But they will not get it out on the play as he beats the throw to first. And there are two on to start the inning now. Stepping in now, Tommy Pham. As he swings and lifts it in the air out to shallow right field. And that is down for extra bases as this will get one home and maybe two. And now he'll try and scurry back to first, but the throw rings him out to dry. Bad base running mistake there for out number one. The tag, and they got him at third. It's a double play. How about it? No idea. left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Hit hard back up the middle and a base hit as the run will come in to score and that gives the Red Sox a 1-0 lead. First baseman Miguel Cabrera stands in and he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Inciarte is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Trey Mancini comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Committed to that one a bit too soon as it locks him up for strike one. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one. Mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. Playable for Verdugo, and there's one gone. So one away here with the bases empty. And into bat next, one of the best run producers in the game, the left-handed hitting first baseman, Freddie Freeman. And this misses outside and a bit high. One ball, no strikes. A ball and a strike now to the Braves' first baseman. Here's the one and one pitch. A ball and two strikes now. Go to that well one more time. He's been late on the first two. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Grounded back up the middle. Gonzalez is up with it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that brings up the outfielder, Alex Verdugo. The center fielder, Alex. First pitch of the at bat. And he goes the other way with it. High and deep down the left field line. And he will run this one down. Moving to his right. And that's the first out of the inning. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up a former gold glover. The first baseman Mitch Moreland. 
And right into the shift. And he is out on the tag. So coming to the plate, Marwin Gonzalez hit it hard when lined out in his first half bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. Hit sharply on the ground. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Now batting, Hector. Hector. At the plate now, Christian Vasquez. And he hits it hard to the right side. Oh, look at the stop by Freddie. Wow. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Marcelo Zuna. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Oh and one. The 0-1 delivery. And here's a ball hit in the air. Right fielder is on the run, but this will land untouched. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Now batter. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Brian Goodwin. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Two balls and no strikes now to the Atlanta DH. Not even close with the 1 0. He needs to get back in the zone, but be careful. Work the quadrants. Now a pitch swung on and missed. It's 2 and 1. to two and two now the way he's been able to command his fastball those first two pitches don't be shocked if he goes back in there again or goes up under his chin or nasty slider down and away he has opened up his full arsenal and he punches out another one make it nine for the ball game now so here's Johan Camargo he'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning Back up the middle. And Pedroia will stretch, but it's into center field for a base hit. The batter number nine. Second base. Tommy Rockwell. Your attention, please. His hitting for Atlanta. Number 14. Good Lee. slider there, and he gets ahead of him nothing in one. Hey, I know the tying runs at first right here, but if the pitcher on the mound executes, keeps the ball in play, I think good things are going to happen. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And he will strike him out. Ten. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Dustin Pedroia. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Lots of hits given up, but so far, no walks. At least he's making them work to get on base. Problem is, they haven't had to work too hard. 1-0 pitch is right there, but ruled a ball. 2-0. 3-0 now. To short. Camargo picks it up cleanly, and a good throw gets him one gone. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Shinsu Chu. Already two for two, he'll look to add on right here. First pitch on its way. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. The tag, and he is out. So the bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, it'll be the outfielder, Tommy Pham. This is foul right side. Hey, with two outs in the number two hole, you're just trying to get on. You got the big boys coming up behind you. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Here comes Mancini. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. Continue. 
at the plate. Andrew Benintendi. Now a pitch runs in on him here, and all he can do is flare one fouled off to the right side. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. Runner goes for second. He swings and misses. Throw down. And he'll be tagged out at second base. New inning set to get underway. And next to bat will be the catcher, Tyler Flowers. Tyler. Wow. Popped him up. Moreland is under it. He's got it one away. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Stepping in, Kyle Seeger. So a rather weak start to the at-bat as he misses badly there. It's 0-1. Now you could just see this guy out on the mound right here. Just the body language. He knows he's on top of his game. Executing a nasty slider down the way right there. Giving this offense no chance. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. The right field, number 15. So here's Trey Mancini. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's 1-1. One and one. I mean, this offense has struggled because they haven't been able to make the adjustment. He stayed staunch on the outer half, and these guys have not worked the ball the other way. The 1-2. Is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. Now at the plate, Freddie Freeman, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Ball one. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. And this one's too far inside, ball two. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. 2-1 two pitches, a fastball swung on and missed two and two. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. The set and the 2-2. Two -two. And he's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And with it brings the left-handed swinging Andrew Benintendi. Grounded to the right. Freeman is up with it. And he is out on the tag. Digging in to try it again. Miguel Cabrera. And he's been a bit of a diamond in the rough. Though he's only a bronze player. He's got one of the better contact hitting attributes you'll see. Fielded cleanly. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Lifted in the air out towards left center. In Ciarte's there. He's got it, and there are two down now. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Two out, nobody on. And he watches a called strike as this one bears in on him. One and one. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. The one two high and deep down the left field line and that will end up a foul ball one run ten hits and no errors for the Red Sox to this point this one's blooped out toward right center field in Ciarte moving in but he won't get there it falls in. Here's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland. Out in front of it, strike one. One for two in the ball game thus far. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control, 0-2. Oh 
you have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. This is on the ground over to first. The tag, and he is out. Ball set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up Ender Inciarte. The center fielder, number 11, Ender Inciarte. This thing's You're far from place. over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. And the move to the pinch hitter will not pan out as that's taken in for the first down. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Here's the first pitch to him. And a fastball misses here to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Swing and a miss for strike one. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Even though we're late into this ball game, this guy's velo is still top notch. This guy's a horse. Up and in here as he had to bend out of danger. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. That's a good job right there. Very rarely see pitchers double up where they go a pitch inside. Normally, they'll go back outside, but he followed that up with another pitch on the inside part of the plate. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. Now that dedicated hitter. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. That's a, a ball of no strikes. No runs, three hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. A ball and a strike. His slider's been impressive all night long. If he can continue spinning it like that, he's going to be just fine. Popped up. Cabrera has room in foul territory, and this is going to wind up a foul ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he's going to add to the total. 14 punch out. Last half of the seventh here. And that'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop, Marwin Gonzalez. Shortstop, Marwin Gonzalez. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Breaking ball drops right in the chute for a strike. Well, he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked a guy up with it. Popped up. But this will land untouched. The 0-2 home. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Now batter. Ready for another shot now. Christian Vasquez. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. 0 oh, and 1 the count. Good hard sinker swung on and missed. 0 oh, and 2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. So he no sets him down 15. swinging. Christian Vasquez becomes out number two this inning. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Man, that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Hey, that's not an easy pitch to hold your swing up. I know it looked like it was way off the plate. Good job not swinging at it. Swing, and he pops him up. Camargo is calling for it, and that retires the side. Ready to begin the eighth, and stepping up as the shortstop, Johan Camargo. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Hey, this guy's nasty on the mound. And to check swing and not chase that one, puts himself right back in the count. A ball and two strikes. Here comes the one-two from Sale. 
Got him. And that's number 15 for the ball game. So here's Starlin Castro. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, Batty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got a bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot. Has to put the ball in play. Line drive to left. And that'll get by and on through towards the wall. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. Here now is the catcher, Tyler Flowers, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. A hit and two tries for him so far. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? There's one. On to first, it's a double play as their woes continue. Stepping in, Shin Su Chu. He's two for three thus far. The designated hitter. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. And, and this dude is locked in on the mound. He's throwing each pitch with confidence. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. Now with the play, Tommy Pham. Last time through was a base hit. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Lying toward the gap in left center. Another base hit. How about the game he's putting together? Now four for four in this one. Now that so now to the plate, Andrew, Andrew Benintendi. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. So far, two for three in this one. And he goes and chops this one out towards second. Gloved by Castro. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow! So here's the cleanup hitter, Miguel Cabrera. Well, we thought we might be seeing the end of the road for the starter, but clearly he's still in there for at least one more hitter. Well, Matt, we'll see how this works out, but I think they figure with the righty coming up, it was worth sticking with him to keep the matchup advantage in their favor here. And he will deliver one of the biggest at-bats of the night. It's a base hit. In now, Alex Verdugo. As he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. The 0-1 delivery. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Hit down the line at first. Oh, and this is past him down the line. A fair ball. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Standing in now, Mitch Moreland. As he sends it on the ground to first. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. And they'll put the brakes on that runner at third. And that means the bases are loaded now with two away. Into the box now, Marlon Gonzalez. Now a ball line to the left side. But foul. Behind 0-2 now. One and two to the Boston shortstop. Bases are loaded here. Two down. Line toward right center. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. And the second run will score. It's now a 4 nothing game. And he's able to get back in there at first safely. Stepping in now, Christian Vasquez. And he popped him up. Castro ranging into shallow right. He's not going to get it. And the two-out rally continues. And he's safe. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. Hit in the air down the left field line. And he will get there to make the running play. And that will... Set to start the ninth in this one, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Kyle Seeger. Kyle Seeger. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here, nothing in one. Hit in the air out to center field. Verdugo waits on it. 
one away. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. I'm surprised we're seeing so many late swings on fastballs. If there's one rule of thumb in the game, get to the heat. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0-2. Changes up on him there, but it's one and two. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. No balls and a strike to count. The wind up and the 0-1. And this ball swung on and hit to center field. And this should do it. And he'll put this one away. And the Red Sox get a complete game shutout from their starter as this ball game is over. A 5-0 finish.